This is satire, so if you don't understand, unfortunately it's not up to me to help you understand. Weight loss tips. If you would like to know how I stay so thin, it's really simple. Get yourself a kid and get yourself a cat, a kid who never helps you do absolutely anything, and a cat who needs to be fed at least three times a day. So get yourself those two things. Throw in a, like a splash of depression, because that always helps. And just live. Usually the weight will just fall right off of you. And if you're having a little bit of trouble, you know, get the kid who never helps you do anything. Get her to get all her dishes that she's left piled up wherever she's left them, rotting, with rotten food on them, because that's likely what's going to happen. So get that, maybe three, four days worth of dishes, leftover food, pots and pans that you've used to cook the food, and then get your cat dishes that have all your leftover cat food on them, because you're gonna have those things. From, from your depression, you know, because you're not cleaning all the time. You're tired and you're ti sick and you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know how the cycle goes. So now that you've got yourself the cat food that's been left on the plates for two, three days, you have that. And you have the dishes from your kid piled on top of each other. You have that in your sink and then you go make more food and you see the old food with the cat food piled on top of it in the sink, rotting. You wanna know what that smells like? It smells like a dead squirrel that's been left in a hot park that was just left, that was ran over like a week ago. That's what that smells like. Old cat food, animal byproduct. Yeah. Make you hungry? Are you feeling hungry yet? Does that pique your appetite? Because I know it does not pique mine. So after you have all that, you smelt it, you've looked at it, that should be making you lose your appetite right about now-ish. And then keep that going on for weeks, months, years. And then you come to me and let's see what your weight loss program looks like. It's very simple. A cat and a kid who does nothing to help you. Your weight will just fall right off you. You'll be slim. You might not have any hair. You could be full of wrinkles by the time that happens. And looking like a 70 year old carrot farmer when you're in your 40s. You know. It's all fun. It's fun. It's the game of life. Doesn't that sound fun? How many people wanted me to sign them up for that joyful experience? I know I would. The weight just falls off. I bet you I've lost 20 pounds in the past two months. So if the stress doesn't get you, I'm sure that there's one of those things out there. Or you could have those dickheads that drive by all hours of the night with a cherry bomb on their exhaust pipe. I'm fucking tired. I'm tired. And I have tinnitus that's driving me fucking batshit. I need a vacation. I need a vacation. I need a man. I need something. Some volume. An orgasm. A date. 
a drink, a psychiatrist, a few psychiatrists maybe, I just don't know anymore. I just don't know. My hair glows in the black light, if you haven't noticed. Cool, cool, I'll show you. Black light reflective hair, anybody? You can see all of my sun damage now. Do you know anybody else that has black light reflective hair? Blue light reflective hair? At least the one good thing about me is that you guys are f well aware that I'm like got a couple screws loose up there and I don't hide it. I'm not fake. I don't hide behind a screen. I've got a couple life issues that seem to smack me in the damn face sometimes, but I don't give up on life because I know that tomorrow probably won't be like this. Next week, definitely not going to be like this. It gets better. You just have to believe that it will. And I promise you it will. So don't give up. Even if you feel like you're having a hard time right now, I have those hard times all the freaking time. But I'm still positive. I still go forward. I still get up every friggin' day and put a smile on and make shit happen. Even if I don't want to, I don't have anybody out there pushing me forward other than the voice behind me pushing me forward. Gotta have it in here. Because only the strong survive. If not, oh, life is hard. Hard. It's hard, man. It's hard enough. Without all the other complications, when you add complications to your life, it gets seriously harder. So just go with the flow. Take it day by day, minute by minute, moment by moment if you have to. It sounds so cliche, but if you need to take a day off and just do nothing, life allowing, give yourself that time. Allow yourself the time to just breathe if, that, if you need to do that. Let the shit storm pass and just move on with your day. I gotta give myself those pep tops all the time. <laughs> Otherwise I'd be like in a corner or in a closet somewhere a babbling disaster. <clears throat> so just a little bit of comedy to get you guys through your day. Real life comedy. Because you know without a sense of humor. Life is pretty fucking miserable. <laughs> I love you guys. I need a dentist. I need to get that fixed. I feel like a hillbilly. Holes in my teeth. silver fillings that fell out. So, hopefully I helped you guys a little bit today. I know that you guys help me every day. So, stay true to yourselves and be the realest you that you can be. Because, you know, all the other yous are not the same. Be the real you. True, authentic, honest, Somebody out there will accept you for you. Don't hide behind a mask. Just be new. Love you guys. And even you, my one hater. If you are a hater, send this video to your hater. And hopefully that's two minutes of their life that they will never, ever get back. And hopefully when you send them here, 
they love me. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.